Now we need to do the head control. Let's create a control. I'm going to use my hexagon here because it's going to be a little bit of a different control than my normal joints. And I'm going to group that and I'm going to call this one head CTL. And this one is head CTL CNT. All right. And I'm going to grab my head joint one and head CT, CNT. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my parent constraint, maintain offset turned off, just to get it with the right, it's in the right position with the right rotations. And then once I do that, it's in the right place, I'm actually going to delete this parent constraint. I don't actually want that there because I'm actually going to use the control to control the joint, not the other way around. Now what that means though is I've got this um, head control that I want to keep my rotations exactly the way, the way they are. So I'm going to go to component mode and I'm going to change this in component mode. Okay. So you see here my rotations y, z, x will be the exact same y, z, x for um, the joint. Now, what I'm going to do is this controller is going to constrain through the orient right here, maintain offset. It's going to be a constraint on this object right here. So we say add. So orient is rotation constraints. And you'll see here that I selected the head control first, then the joint, and then the, the joint here. That's where the constraint is, and it's highlighted blue. You can look at it. You can see the head joint right there, the orientation. Now, I still have a problem because right here, what's happening? My head control needs to follow the body. All right. All right. I'm going to grab the head here. I'm going to grab the neck here. And I'm going to select the head CTL connect and I'm going to say point constraint maintain offset. Point is to do the Translate. I'm going to grab the neck again, grab the head control connect, and I'm going to say orient, maintain offset. So what that means is the neck here controls the head control here. The head control, sorry, the head control follows the neck control. Now, we have this attribute head follow world. We need to connect it. Head follow world to orient constraint. All right. Orient constraint neck joint weight zero. And what that means is I can now switch between the neck, you see how this head, it tilts, so it follows the neck for the rotations. Of course, we need it to follow the translate. But we can also go here, turn this off, zero, and now it's as if the head stays oriented towards the world the entire time, so the eyes never actually change. It'll be easier to see this when we do skinning, which is what we're going to do next. But before we do that, we put this one in the do not touch node. All right, and our connect, we're going to 